सो so, स्टार्ट करते हैं अपने वोल्टेज एंड करंट मेजरिंग डिवाइस सो फर्स्ट वोल्टेज एंड करंट मेजरिंग डिवाइस करंट मेजरिंग डिवाइस मेजरिंग डिवाइस ओके सो लेट्स सी सो इफ यू मेजर वोल्टेज अप टू वोल्टेज अप टू 500 हंड्रेड वोल्ट एंड करंट अप टू मैक्सिम ऑफ सपोज फिफ्टी एम पी नाउ वोल्टेज एंड वोल्टेज अप टू फाइव हंड्रेड वोल्ट एंड करंट अप टू फिफ्टी एम पी एल इज मेजर बाई इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज मेजर बाई मेजर बाई इंस्ट्रूमेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट लाइक पी एम एम सी एंड एम आई टाइप इंस्ट्रूमेंट एम आई टाइप इंस्ट्रूमेंट ठीक है यहां तक एम आई टाइप इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो दैट मीन्स द लो वैल्यू ऑफ वोल्टेज एंड करेंट आर मेजर बाई योर इंस्ट्रूमेंट लाइक पी एम एम सी एंड एम आई इंस्ट्रूमेंट बट द पी एम सी इंस्ट्रूमेंट पी एम सी इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज यूज फॉर इट इज ऑनली फॉर इट इज ऑनली फॉर DC. It is only for DC, but from the MI we can measure it. See, it is for it is for AC. Okay. Now this PMC instrument, this PMC instrument can work as a meter as well as a voltmeter. Similarly, your MI instrument can work as a meter and voltmeter. Okay. so this is the measurement of voltage and current by instrument like pmc the permanent magnet moving coil instrument and moving iron instrument so permanent moving coil instrument is used for the dc like a uh, uh, dc ammeter and dc voltmeter now for the ac voltage and current we will use moving iron instrument as ammeter as a voltmeter now for high voltage for high voltage measurement for high voltage and current measurement current measurement for high voltage and current measure we cannot use such instrument because the magnetic field and the electrostatic field produced by high voltage and current is very very high that is very dangerous to the human being whose measure is a voltage so for high voltage and current measurement we will use for high voltage and current measurement we will use we will use your current transformer and your potential transformer for example in transmission line in transmission line okay in transmission line so for low value of voltage and current we will use instrument like a pmc instrument mi instrument as a meter or as volt meter for dc or ac what for the measurement of voltage and current in high quantity or in high scale we will use ct and pt that means in your transmission line suppose your transmission line is of 220 kv so 220 kv voltage is measured by your potential transformer and current through the transmission line is measured by ct and ct is connected in series in the line and your pt is uh, connected across the line to measure high voltage and high current so in our syllabus first we see the instrument like pmc and mi instrument in that the first type of instrument is your pmc instrument and pmc instrument ke liye sabse pehla jo topic hai wo hum log dekhenge the construction part so हम अपना पहला टॉपिक जो है स्टार्ट करते हैं पीएमसी इंस्ट्रूमेंट का और उस पीएमसी इंस्ट्रूमेंट में हम लोग सबसे पहले देखेंगे कंस्ट्रक्शन कंस्ट्रक्शन के बाद वर्किंग टॉर्क इक्वेशन एडवांटेज डिसएडवांटेज एप्लीकेशन एंड देयर एक्सटेंशन बिकॉज द एक्सटेंशन इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द पीएमएमसी इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो स्टार्ट करते हैं हम उसका कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द पीएमएमसी इंस्ट्रूमेंट 
सो कंस्ट्रक्शन के लिए पहले हम डायग्राम ले लेते हैं फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट वी विल टेक जस्ट वन डायग्राम ऑफ द सो फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन वी विल यूज ए डायग्राम एंड व्हाट इज दैट लेट सी इट इज फर्स्ट आई एम जस्ट हैविंग योर मैग्नेट्स द परमानेंट व्हाट आर दे आई विल टेल यू इट ओके so what are they i will just tell you so it is a permanent magnets okay and what is the purpose of permanent magnets i will tell you okay so now this is a rectangular coil this is your rectangular coil okay and uh, इसके बाद जो हमें लेना है दैट इज वॉट अवर सेंट्रिकल कोर दिस इज योर सेंट्रिकल कोर ओके दिस इज योर सेंट्रिकल कोर एंड हियर वी आर हैविंग द नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स ऑन दैट लेट्स टेक द नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स आल्सो ओके जस्ट वेट I will draw the diagram carefully. So I'm having the number of turns like that, like that. This is the number of turns on that, and this is your like that. Okay. So this is the number of turns, and suppose your current is this. Just wait. This is your number of turns is shown by blue pen, okay? And here we are having this thing, okay? And then we have the spring on the two parts. First the string. This is your spring number one, and this is your spring number two, okay? So we are having two spring. The spring one. A spring and it is also a spring then we are having the bottom part okay this is your bottom part and it is like that so it is like that similarly if you draw for the upper part upper part it is like that this is also the upper part and here we are having your scale okay this is your scale like that this is your scale like that okay this is your scale now this is called top support top support and this is called your bottom support bottom support okay and then we have it is north it is south it is south it is north south then this one is called aluminum aluminum rectangular rectangular frame okay and this is a winding copper winding copper winding and this is your cylindrical core cylindrical curl core and this is your scale and on there we have a spring oh, sorry the pointer also there is a pointer also suppose your pointer is here like that and it is your current current this is x this is y terminal so these are the things now so agar hum construction ki baat kare dekhi so this is the diagram related to your 
PNC instrument construction. So in the first part, I just discussed the construction, construction detail, construction detail, okay, of the instrument, okay. So in that, I will just first discuss how many parts of the construction, then individually we will see here construction. So the first part of the construction is we have the fixed system. Fixed system. Pella part of the construction may so a PMC instrument has the fixed system, and the fixed system is what fixed system is what permanent permanent magnet. Permanent magnet. Okay. Then in that we will see what the purpose. What is the purpose of this thing and then material, okay? Purpose and material. Now, in the second part, in the second part, we will discuss the moving system, the moving system, okay? And then moving system is what? Moving coil. The example is moving coil, okay? And then moving coil purpose, what is the purpose of the moving coil, okay? Then there is the second part. In the third part, we will see here, then we have, third part is what? Your spring, a spring. And then we have in the fourth part, the first part is fixed system, moving system, a spring and your bearing bearing in the, in the last part scale okay so we divide our construction into just simpler five parts and one by one we see what is the purpose of the construction okay so let's draw the diagram and uh, just mark everything on your diagram okay so please diagram ko bana lijiye aur fir hum dekhte hain ki is diagram mein construction mein kya kya part hoga theek hai yahan tak so now agar hum discuss kare the first part the purpose of the permanent magnet is to create a fixed magnetic field the purpose of a permanent magnet the purpose of the permanent magnet is to produce a fixed magnetic field as similar to the DC machine. If you DC machine, then in the DC machine, our standard winding hai, that is called field winding. The field winding ka jo main purpose wo kya tha? main working flux to produce. Karana. So main, working, uh, jo main working flux to produce. Karana. Jisse ki kya hota tha? Agar hum generator, ki baat karana, main, jo standard winding hai, jo field winding, hai, se ek flux produce होता था और rotating member जो armature हमारा rotating member है उसको ये flux क्या करता था उस cut करता था और जैसे ये flux जो है उस rotating member को cut करता था armature को cut करता था उसमें क्या जाता था E में so the main purpose the main purpose of the field system is to create the main flux or the permanent flux as similar in DC machine of the field winding okay now to here we are using the permanent magnet and the permanent magnet is of two type in the older system we use u shape u shape permanent magnet but in nowadays we use alkino or alcomex type of permanent magnets the main material for the permanent magnet is alkino okay and the complete name is its complete name is aluminium nickel cobalt alloy aluminium nickel cobalt alloy okay so the main purpose so the main purpose of the fixed system is to provide the main or working flux okay so let's draw the main flux with a blue pen, with a black pen okay so this is your main flux this is your the main flux direction if you see this thing okay so this is your flux direction okay now so if you want to write we can write also the purpose is to create to create main flux main 
टू क्रिएट मेन फ्लक्स इन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन द इन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एज सिमिलर टू एज सिमिलर टू डीसी मशीन डीसी मशीन आप एग्जाम्पल में ले सकते हैं सिमिलर टू सिमिलर टू फील्ड वाइंडिंग सिमिलर टू द फील्ड वाइंडिंग ऑफ डीसी मशीन ठीक है डीसी मशीन में जो फील्ड वाइंडिंग का पर्पज था मेन फ्लक्स को प्रोवाइड कराना उसी तरीके से जो परमानेंट मैग्नेट है या फिक्स सिस्टम है उसका भी काम मेन फ्लक्स को प्रोवाइड कराना है ठीक है नाउ वी हैव वन फ्लक्स दैट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम नॉर्थ टू साउथ ओके एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस द मटेरियल दैट इज मटेरियल इज ऑट एलमोनियम निकिल कोबॉल्ट अलाई ओके मटेरियल क्लियर है तक नाउ इफ यू वांट टू डिस्कस द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ द परमानेंट मैग्नेट एज 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 पासिस अवे द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द परमानेंट मैग्नेट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ परमानेंट मैग्नेट इज फिक्स एंड एज एज पासिस अवे इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड गेट्स वीक सो दिस इज द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ परमानेंट मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल मीनिंग क्या है जैसे जैसे एज होगी ए या एज के साथ हम बात करें तो ए जो जो परमानेंट मैग्नेट है इसकी मैग्नेटिक फील्ड क्या होगी वीक होती चली जाएगी दर द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ परमानेंट मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल बट इफ यू सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट एंड परमानेंट मैग्नेट सो द परमानेंट मैग्नेट इज लाइक दैट सपोज इट इज नॉर्थ साउथ इट इज प्रोवाइडिंग यूर फ्लक्स लाइक दैट ओके But if you want to design your electromagnet, then electromagnet it is permanent magnet whose magnetic field is flux. Now, if you see E is equals to k phi n. Okay, in permanent magnet flux, you cannot change the flux. You cannot change the flux. Okay, or <coughs> you cannot increase or decrease the flux. But you want to take electromagnets, electromagnets. Then you have to take. One iron core on on that you wrap the winding and just give the supply. It becomes your electromagn electromagnet. And case of electromagnet, you can change the level of flux. That means you can increase or decrease the flux by just current or by changing the number of turn. Clear है यहाँ तक? Now one more thing about the main field flux or the fixed system. Among all the instrument, among all the instrument. the permanent magnetic the among all the instrument the main field or the permanent magnetic field is highest is highest it is of 0.1 weber per meter square you can write this also it is of 0.1 to 1 weber per meter square so the magnetic field intensity or the flux density is 0.1 to 1 weber per meter square or 0.1 to 1 tesla okay so the magnetic field density of the permanent magnet is the highest among all the instrument now the 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 instrument who have highest magnetic field intensity or density or the magnetic field is no need to have is no need to have shielding so that's why your permanent magnetic system have, do not have shielding and the next one the magnet the instrument which have highest magnetic field the instrument which have highest magnetic field is having the eddy current damping is having eddy current damping because if you take eddy current damping in the instrument which have low magnetic field then your deflecting torque your deflecting torque is not as proper as we required that's why in case of uh, your pmc instrument we don't require the shielding because the permanent magnetic field is highest the first one and in case of permanent magnetic field in case of pmc instrument you have eddy current damping because eddy current damping is only used the instrument which have highest magnetic field so this is the first point about your field system i hope ye baat samajh mein aa gayi hogi main fir se cover kar de raha hu the main purpose of the fixed system or of the permanent magnetic field is to create main flux as similar to the dc machine then next one the magnetic field of the permanent magnetic system is the highest among all the instrument that is the range is 0.1 to 1 tesla it is 0.1 to 1 weber per meter square or 0.1 to 1 tesla because weber per meter square is called tesla so its magnetic field is highest among all the instrument now due to the highest magnetic field it is do not require shielding 
and the next one the magnet its magnetic field highest just because of that it is having eddy current damping because eddy current damping are used by those instrument which are having highest magnetic field so these are the two point these are the just first point about the purpose and the material used in, in case of permanent magnet is l nico that is aluminium nickel cobalt alloy so this is about the fixed system now coming to the moving system if <coughs> for the moving system now for the moving system we are having a aluminium rectangular frame we are having a aluminium rectangular frame okay and over that we wrap the binding of copper this is your aluminium frame i just mark darker okay this is your aluminium frame this one is your aluminium frame okay and over that we wrap the winding of copper i just mark more darker so that you can have clear picture of that okay so this is the aluminium frame over that we wrap the winding of copper this is your aluminium frame and over which we place your copper winding okay this is your winding copper winding okay now in that we are having a cylindrical core in that we are having a cylindrical core so in case of moving system we are having two things the aluminium rectangular and aluminium frame and the coil and the cylindrical core so in moving system we are having three things first one is first one is here we are in moving system i can write aluminium frame plus coil plus plus your cylindrical core cylindrical core okay so let's see what is the purpose of all these things so the purpose of the aluminium frame the purpose of the aluminium frame because the cylindrical core is inside your aluminium frame so the purpose of the aluminium frame is to have your cylindrical core and aluminium is used because we have to take high torque ratio because torque weight ratio is torque upon weight ratio if we use aluminium then its weight is less its weight is less then its torque weight is torque weight ratio is high then it have less friction error that's why we are using here aluminium frame okay and the next thing is what coil now the coil is to carry the current is to carry is to carry the current is to carry the current which is to be measured which is to be measured okay and why we use cylindrical core cylindrical core is used because if you, you use core then you are having more and more flux so it increases the flux or the flux density okay now the next point is that from the permanent magnetic field from the permanent magnetic field we are having first magnetic field suppose it is stator magnetic field as similar to as similar to your stator magnetic field okay now we are having a current carrying conductor we are having a current carrying conductor we are having a current carrying conductor that is placed on aluminium frame ya aise keh sakte hain hum ek humne सिलेंड्रिकल कोर ली है ऐसे और इस सिलेंड्रिकल कोर को इस एक एल्यूमिनियम फ्रेम के अंदर रख दिया गया है और उस एल्यूमिनियम फ्रेम पे हमने क्या कर दी गई है बाइंडिंग कर दी गई है लाइक दैट ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द मूविंग कॉल सिस्टम ओके सो वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस ऑल दीज थिंग एल्यूमिनियम फ्रेम परपस कॉइल एंड सिलेंड्रिकल कोर नाउ वट इज दैट one magnetic field is produced by the permanent magnet mag magnet as similar to the stator magnetic field in case of in case of your machine now second magnetic field is what when a current carrying conductor when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field it surrounds a magnetic field when a current carrying conductor you know, just uh, modify the statement when a conductor is carrying current when a conductor is carrying current like you yes when a conductor is 
carrying current when a conductor is carrying a, a magnetic field is around that and that magnetic field is what it is cross uh, it is drawn suppose this magnetic field is inside to the board then the direction is why the right hand rule is clockwise it is clockwise this is your magnetic field okay and this is the direction of current suppose your current is out of the page then your magnetic field then your magnetic field is what anti clockwise direction this anti clockwise direction okay so what is the meaning one magnetic field is from the permanent magnet and another magnetic field is from the this moving coil current so we are having so we are having two magnet two magnetic field bs or pr now this is similar to the stator magnetic field this is similar to the rotor magnetic field now when there are two magnetic field when there are two magnetic field they will interact to each other and due to the interaction of these two we will have a resultant torque and that torque that torque is given by the torque is given by k vs br okay and in magnitude k vs br sin delta if you remember your theory of machine clear hai yahan tak so ab tak humne kya dekha fixed system dekh liya moving system dekh liya फिक्स सिस्टम से हमारे पास एक परमानेंट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आ गई और मूविंग क्वाल से एक मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आ गई ये दोनों मैग्नेटिक फील्ड जैसे ही इंटरेक्ट करेंगी इंटरेक्शन की वजह से एक रिजल्टेंट डायरेक्शन में एक टॉर्क मिलेगा जिसकी वजह से हमारा पॉइंटर क्या करेगा मूव करेगा बट मशीन में क्या होता है मशीन में जो होता है जो हमारा रोटेशन होता है थ्री सिक्सटी बट इनकेस ऑफ योर इंस्ट्रूमेंट द रोटेशन इज फिक्स द रोटेशन इज फिक्स बाई द स्टॉपर at the left hand and right hand side so your pmmc instrument is similar to your dc machine your pmmc instrument is just similar to your dc machine with limited rotation and that limited rotation is provided by what the stopper at the left and right hand of your instrument is it clear so yahan tak mere hisab se baat samajh mein aa gayi hogi i just discuss the fixed system and the moving system and the purpose of everything okay so let's take the construction part and the next one is what spring now in case of pmc instrument spring carries current spring carries current in case of pmc instrument spring carrying current if your spring is snap out or just break out due to any of region then your pmc instrument your pmc instrument will not read anything because deflecting torque is directly proportional to your current okay so in case of pmc instrument your spring carries current that means it is connected in series now if it carries current then for the current if it is carrying current then it will expand when it is not carrying it is contract so your spring material should be very very good that's why we use phosphor bronze material we will use phosphor bronze material so i think up to here clear hoga फॉस्फर ब्रॉन्ज मटेरियल हो गया यहां तक एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज व्हाट इट कैरीज इट इज इट कैरीज करंट इट कैरी करंट इन केस ऑफ पीएमसी इंस्ट्रूमेंट आइदर इट इज अमीटर और वोल्ट मीटर ठीक है यहां तक आई होप सो ये बात समझ में आ गई होगी अब सबको ठीक है नेक्स्ट पार्ट की तरफ बढ़ते हैं बीरिंग नाउ now next part is our bearing when your moving system is moving your moving system is moving at the top and bottom end we require the bearing we require bearing and we use such a bearing that will give you the least friction that will give you believe you the least friction okay so we can use all type bearing okay and the last part is what scale the last part is स्केल अगर स्केल देखें सो टू गेट योर क्लियर रीडिंग टू गेट योर रीडिंग वी शुड हैव स्केल एंड द स्केल शुड हैव नंबर ऑफ मोर नंबर ऑफ डिवीजन टू हैव क्लियर रेजोल्यूशन एज वेल एज प्रसिजन बट इन केस ऑफ योर पीएमसी इंस्ट्रूमेंट योर स्केल हैव इक्वल नंबर ऑफ डिवीजन व्हाई इट इज हैविंग इक्वल डिवीजन आई विल टेल यू सो दिस इज अबाउट योर कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट एंड जस्ट सी आई विल डिस्कस वन मोर टाइम अगेन the construction part okay so just have a look of that and i will further discuss from starting to 
एंडिंग पॉइंट थी लेट्स स्टार्ट 